The track coach watched in awe as a kid named Butch raced across the quad toward his girlfriend. It took several attempts before Butch finally agreed to give track a try, where he quickly discovered how naturally fast he really was. As the season progressed, Butch started to watch what he ate and soon started winning. When Butch made the decision to stop sleeping around, his speed continued to improve to the point that he quickly became one of the fastest men in the nation. As the final track meet of the season approached, Butch's old girlfriend snuck up to him and said, Hey, how about we devour this pizza and you can have me? Butch didn't even hesitate when he said, I am an athlete, and I'm sorry, but I just cannot do that. What really had changed for Butch? What was different? Just his identity, who he was, and how he saw himself. So how do you see yourself? What is your identity? Can you imagine the power that you and I could have every single day if we just realized our true identities of who we really are in Christ? What if we could wake up every day and say, I am a child of God. I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. Can we even imagine the power in that kind of identity? When we see our true Christian identity, who we really are, the way that God sees us, we cannot help but make choices for the better. Now imagine the power behind these words. Stop! This is the police! You can bet money that you are going to stop. In the same way, with even bolder power, we have the ability when tempted to say out loud, Stop! I am a child of God. Our true identity as children of God is so powerful that it scares the devil. Quoting scripture scares him even more. Let's say it together. Stop! I am a child of God. I am a child of God.